Can, can we cut the thing? Uh, okay. <laughs> I have to loop. <laughs> Hi. When I started this new series, um, I didn't have a title yet. I got to do about a couple of paintings before the, the title of the paintings will come. Uh, basically, I have a team in mind already, but uh, the titling. Uh, after some time, then only after maybe a lapse of a few paintings, only then I realized uh, I have to give a title. So, from my world to yours, the series, uh, the titling came because I was thinking that, uh, you know, most artists, they, uh, they live in their own world. They live in their own world. Uh, they the journey of their life is always very different from other people. So maybe a lot of people don't understand why artists behave like that. So I should say that most of the artists live in their own world and I, I'm also one of them. So what I'm trying to convey in my current paintings are my thoughts, uh, my feelings, my memories, my... Uh, uh, what you call this dreams, moments in time, and uh, what you call this observations and experiences. So, uh, seen from my own world to yours, and that's how I want people to know uh, what I'm thinking in my head so that uh, I can put it on the canvas in color so that people can understand what I'm trying to, trying to convey. At the same time, uh, the each painting uh, on, on canvas is paint on canvas uh, is the place where all the my <coughs> my my world my, my my thinking of my world and your world will meet together and have a conversation on the canvas so that's why I call it uh, from my world to yours and this series this new series of mine this is the first time I'm using it uh, creating this series without using any brush. It's all oil paint on canvas without any brush stroke. So I can uh, make use of like for example spatula or anything that I can get my hands on to do it. Every painting will tell a different story in my series. For example this painting here is called From My World to Yours number 34 and it's, it's oil on canvas painted in the year 2013. So this, you find that uh, from this painting, you can, different people will see different, different views, different uh, uh, perception of the painting. So you, each one of you, every, this painting for example, is like a mirror to yourself. Uh, the person, for example, the person A will have a different uh, Conver uh, different conversation or different interpretation with a person B, C or D, for example. Here, majority of the colors you notice is painted in uh, gold. It's called gold paint here. And you find that all the, this series of my painting have a kind of trademark where you find this calligraphic type of wordings coming out. Some people interpret it as the Javi, some people it's it could be a uh, old Hebrew or but for me it is a kind of movement to show you that the movement from my world into your world or from your world into my world. That's why I have this. You find in almost every of my my paintings you have this kind of uh, trademark. And you find uh, there are a lot of uh, when you look at the painting, you don't only look at a certain place, but you will notice your eyes will go all around the painting trying to find, because it's, it's not sta uh, static, it's more of a very movement-like. Right, here you have two of my paintings, for example. One is done in, uh, it's number 60, and the other one is 61. Uh, there are, you find that the two of these paintings look different from each other. If you find like, Again, in, this, in, in every of these paintings, you find they, you have this like uh, Javi-like calligraphy coming out from every of the painting. 
So that is again, I told you, is uh, to show the movement from my world to your world or from your world to my world. And they are all done in, uh, the, the colors are different because it depends on my mood, you see. Sometimes I would like to have a very peaceful mood or sometimes I'm in an angry mood or what. So whatever happens is that uh, you find that they are, they are done in different strokes, this painting. And uh, you have to look at it in a different, uh, different viewpoint again. Each one of you will have your own uh, interpretation of the painting because you will see it emotionally, spiritually and uh, see it in a different uh, ways. That's the idea because if everyone already have the same idea of the painting that is no longer my, my, my main aim of uh, making this painting. So I want you all to have to come up in it's like a, my paintings are actually it's like a, a room with different doors. You can use any of these doors to come in to to view my paintings so that you have a different idea of what I'm doing. Uh, All together I have uh, 15 solo exhibitions and uh, the catalogs are here except two catalogs are missing. Um, well, the first solo exhibition I had was with the Sum Art Gallery. This is the catalog I had it with Sum Art Gallery and uh, it's printed in black and white as you can see from here. Right? This is the first solo I had in the year um, 1982 when I was 32 years old. Then after that, I went on having other shows and uh, we could say that this catalog here, because it is uh, when I had the, uh, the show in the Hotel Equatorial, and this is a series. You can have the the aftermath series, followed by the ink ink drawings, and also by the it is basically the ink drawings and the, the aftermath series for this one. Then this show was sponsored by the Malaysian Airlines, Mars Airlines and uh, it consists of the transition series held in the year 19, 1990 and you can see some of the some of the uh, works are here and they even publish it in the in the in-flight magazine for Malaysian Airlines this one is held at NN Gallery and it, it is entitled uh, Langkawi Geopark series. I was, um, I was uh, teaching in Langkawi for about four years and that's why you find that I'm very uh, used to this place. And, and from these photographs of this, uh, what they call this uh, realistic uh, landscape of the Geopark, I managed to convert it into my abstract version of this series. So you find that you have all this done and it was held at the NN Gallery. This show was also, um, this catalogue was held at Hotel Equatorial also and is the, uh, the, also the Aftermath series and the ink drawing, this one. Then we have the from a distance, another catalog uh, held at NN Gallery, and this one shows you all the various, uh, maybe you can say landscape or what the bantan, all in abstract version. Well, this one is Nature's Rhapsody series, also based on the nature, and is held at the, and was held at the NN Gallery in the year 1996 and you have find the pictures of uh, all this here sorry Wait. okay this show was sponsored by Maybank held at Balai Sunni Maybank and it's called the transition series 1990 to 1993 in this Exhibition. I I exhibited all the transition series from this year, 
1990 to 1993 and you find catalogs here, make part inside here as well as here. And then Hotel Equator, uh, uh, next one was uh, Hidden Images held at Eastin Hotel, also sponsored by the Eastin Hotel. And the proceeds of the, of the sale, a certain percentage of the proceeds of the sale goes to the uh, to charity of this hotel. And it's done in this way. Simple catalog, we just twofold. The other one, um, I had a show in, um, this catalog shows a combination of realism and abstract. I call it the portals series. And this, I did this series because I, a lot of people ask me what is abstract art and all that, they don't understand abstract art. So to make them more understandable about abstract art, I combine realism and abstract together in this series called the Portal series. It's also held in an NN gallery. Was held in an gallery. And you find some of the things are here. You can see realism, realistic photographs, as well as uh, abstract. For example, you can see this uh, very like Nonia style of uh, doorway, followed by the two coconut trees, but the rest are all in abstract version. And uh, gosh, this is so difficult to open. Yeah? You can see horses as well as uh, other abstract things. That one. Now, coming to another catalog, this, this is a combination. I call it the journey so far because in this series, I, in, I put out a sample of the, all my different series which I have done since the year um, 1981 to 2010. And this show uh, was held 10 years ago, it was held at the uh, NN Gallery. Inside there you find there are a few samples of each series, no boundaries. Um, you can see that you have the, also the ink drawings, the aftermath series, transition series, nature. Uh, you have nature rhapsody series, hidden images. They are all together nine series. Hidden images. Then you have the portal series and from from a distance all oh, the books are stuck. Huh? Langkawi Geopark series. Roughly about that. Next thing I would like to, to show you is um, the solo exhibition I had in Paris. Uh, and this is the catalogue which the French uh, government printed. It's black and white. And this, in this uh, exhibition in Paris, I, of, I, I show the aftermath and my ink drawings in this, in this uh, <coughs> Paris show. And in France, this show was sponsored by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And this is the poster they, they printed to circulate around the, the town of Paris that I'm having a show. This says that uh, present the Malaysian artists and this is a sample of my artwork. Uh, it was held in the 1st to 28th February 1985. And this is the poster, it's very, uh, it's colorful here, but the catalog is printed in black and white. Lastly, the one right now, the most important right now is my latest, latest artwork called From My World to Your series. It's printed in this catalog. And inside there, I have, uh, what do you call, 47 
paintings of uh, from my world to yours. All of the paintings are painted in on oil, oil on on canvas, and the paintings are, are painted without the usage of any brush. There's no brushwork in this series, and uh, I use other things like, for example, spatula or anything that I can get my hand on. I use it for this series, and this series is very important because it, it shows you my emotions, my feelings, my memories, my experiences, my travels, and everything put to show to you from my world, from my perspective, from my world, going to your world. And this thing from my world to your world is all is my canvas on every painting is like a, a can is painted on a canvas. It's a place where uh, what do you call this? The two worlds. In other words, from my world and your world can come and have a conversation on each of the painting. That's this series. And it's painted from 20, it's a collection of work from 2012 to 2019. Okay. So for example, this sample only, this is sample. Okay. Then they got set up satu cell. So like complete satu cell, can I see a background you? Depending on the request of the what they call this the Langan. producer. Uh -huh. Producer. Regarding the whatever the producer wants, I'll be happy to do it. Ah. Uh -huh. So at this time, this time for example, is TV Panika, for example, they have different producers with uh, different programs. Mm -hmm. Each producer is in charge of different programs. For example, this is a sample. First, if they request one person lying down on the very peaceful beach scene, I, the background is that, and then you do a cell of the drawing, and then you, you have to put on top, it becomes a complete scene. For example, mm -hmm. see? It's all have to do. Uh, this is a cartoon work, for example. Uh, cartoon work, and you find that cartoon you have to draw in front. But when you color, you have to color from the back. Uh, you cannot color in front. You cannot color in front. You have to color at the back. From the back. From the back. You have to color from the back, so that in such a way that you know which color must come first. Then only when you put in front, it becomes a whole thing, a clear thing. Okay, mm -hmm. there's one sample. Another sample is, for example, it's the same thing. You have a background. You can have a realistic background followed by the cartoon of it. <laughs> so this is all for education purposes. If they want cartoon, then I'll give them cartoon. See, this one is different from my painting. Yeah?